Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Daily Devotional this morning. I'm Pastor Jin of Little Falls United Methodist Church. I'm here to share with you the Daily Devotional with the Upper Room. I hope this devotional helps you with your daily journey with God and fellowship with Jesus Christ today. Today is June 2nd, 2022, Thursday. The theme of today's devotional is God Understands. The scripture is from John chapter 15, verses 9 through 17. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you, so that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants anymore, any longer because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my Father. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask Him in my name. I am giving you these commands so that you may love one another. Amen. Another scripture is from John chapter 3, uh, verse 16. God so loved the world that he gave his Son, his one and only Son, that what whoever, whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Amen. Today's story is from Eric, uh, who lives in Spain. A few months ago, my wife and I were at a restaurant with another couple, and we were able to talk with them about our faith. My wife told us that she did not have a relation. The wife told us that she did not have a relationship with God, and she did not want to have one because she had experienced the tragic deaths of her father and her brother in a car accident years ago. She did not understand how there could be a God given the pain she and her mother felt from those losses. In that moment, I only knew to tell her that I could not imagine the pain they felt, but that as a father of two children, I could perceive the depth of their loss. Days later, during my prayer time, I kept asking myself what answer could I give to that woman and her mother about who God is. I felt God telling me that God is not rigid or indifferent. God endures. God endures the pain and death of people much like we do. And I wished I could have explained that truth to the woman because to me, God's act of love in, in sacrificing his son for our sins and the pain of that loss means that God understands and stands with us in our grief. And perhaps the experience of such a painful loss that woman and her mother suffered could help them understand our loving God more deeply. It is not easy to explain God. It is not uh, uh, help people to understand God. 
because we do not have the full understanding about God. Sometimes people does not believe in God because of their tragedies, because of their bad experiences. They usually say, if God is there, how that happens? When we see the tragedies in the world, we also could see, could say that, where is God? If God is here with us and with them, how that kinds of happening happens? We don't know the answer. We do not have the exact, the exact answer. However, what we know is what uh, Eric and Enric uh, pointed. God is crying with us. When we are crying, when we are crying, God's heart filled with fills with sorrow and sad. It is not because what happens, it is because of what we feel and what we want, because we are crying. Sometimes life does not go, our life does not go as we plan. However, we don't know what, what is the best uh, way for us, but God knows and God leads us into the best way all the time. Such, uh, such uh, tragedies when we face, God also, God is also sad for that incident and accident. And when we cry, and when we have sorrow in our hearts, God also has sorrow and care for us. We have emotions and feelings and we are created in God's image. God gives us that emotions and feelings. We inher we have inherited God's characters and personality and our feelings and our um, emotions are from God. So God understands. God understands every feelings of us, ours, every every feeling of ours, every kind of emotions that we have and feel, God understands because God knows what it is. When we feel sorrow, God feels sorrow. When we feel angry, God feels angry also. Dear church family and friends, God knows everything. God understands everything. God is God. God is not a human being. However, it does not. It does not. It does not mean that God is different from us. God has emotions and feelings, and God is working and being with us all the time. God sees our sorrows. God sees our joy. God sees everything. And God sees every emotions in us. Church family and friends, whenever you feel sorrow, please remember that God is also crying for you. And God is also laughing for you. Please remember, and I hope you do not lose your faith Instead of giving right answer to the person, such as the wife, let us just try to hold them in our arms and give them a kind and nice words and try to help them and serve them with our good gestures. And someday, God will let us know what to say. And someday, God will work in their souls and spirits so that let them see God's love and grace. Let us pray. God of love, help us to understand and remain deeply aware of your love for us so we can share your hope with those who are suffering. We ask this in the name of Jesus. 
Um, I hope you have a great day today, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day, and thank you. Bye-bye.